Okay, so if you suspect that uh, that you have moved the cam, the um, the crankshaft, which I believe I did, I moved it when it accidentally moved when I. Uh, what's the word? Uh, so, so if you suspect that you moved the um, camshaft off of te top dead center, go find it. <laughs> Put it back on top dead center. Um, I think I did. Okay, I did. Actually, I did. Should be should be pretty close. Okay, no, that's fine. All right, so just make sure you're at top dead center. The book didn't say anything about it, so uh, but just make sure you're on top dead center because you got to make sure all these all these things are lined up properly. Um, all right, so now it's time to go install the uh, camshaft okay, sprocket. Okay, so here's the next step. So we got our camshaft sprocket right there. Um, it says engage the camshaft sprocket A with the chain B. Okay, then align the top mark on the sprocket with the projection on the cylinder head, aligning the notch of the magneto cover with the T-mark on the magneto. Okay, so it does kind of say it. It just kind of says it like in one paragraph. Hold the tension side of the chain up, the exhaust side, to remove slack. Okay. Okay, so there's just going to be, there's going to be a lot of slack. We don't have the chain tensioner in there quite yet, so... Um, all right, let's do this. Okay, so there's our cam uh, camshaft sprocket. Um, remember, we got to put the little pin back in there too. Um, I think before we put the bolt in, we'll put the pin in. Um, this is so this is just so it doesn't rotate on there, um, just in case. Um, so this is your alignment mark here, and you're supposed to line that up with the little needle mark right here on top. Um, all right, so it's time to it's time to free get this chain thingy out of here, man. So we gotta install this very carefully so we don't drop it in there. I don't think you can drop the. Oh yeah, so I did. I did mark the sprocket before. I did mark the chain before we. Uh, it may have moved though. I marked it right here. So if you look very carefully here, there's a silver. There's silver paint on the chain here. Um, so I'm gonna line that up with the mark as best as I could. Um, I think. I think it might be time to just take this out. It may have the chain may have shifted those. Is what I want to say. So it may not be perfect. So we're gonna go install this. Okay, we want to line that up with the the mark I made. I think one more. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. And there should be slack, so you should be able to get it in there. Okay. Okay, and it's off. Um, no, it's online. So now what we gotta do is we gotta spin the camshaft. Okay, we gotta skin, spin the camshaft so the hole lines up. Got it? And we're gonna put our little pin back in. Right, if I can, if I can reach it from there. Uh, make sure you have all your parts available. Uh, also, it says you gotta put a. I think I can just leave it like that. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. I don't think it'll fall. Okay. It looks like it's pretty well lined up. It says to put a non-permanent locking compound on the bolt. Apply a non-permanent locking agent to the camshaft sprocket bolt. Okay. So before we we try to put this in, we're gonna put some of that Loctite on this. Again. Just slather it in there, good. Put some on the base too. Okay. Uh, there's I don't know there's there's some on the thread, but this is a brand new camshaft. So, all right. So what we're gonna want to do is put that somewhere handy, so we can reach it right away, and then we're gonna put our pin back in. And make sure the pin is clean too. It's a little dirty. Okay. I honestly don't remember what direction this goes in. I don't think it matters. So, so what we're gonna do. Just very carefully put it in without dropping it in the hole. Hopefully it lines up with the camshaft. Okay, it's not. It's stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ow. Okay, it's uh, not going in. So what I'm going to do is just kind of tap it. 
in, and it should kind of just go in by itself. Okay, there we go. Provided you lined up the, the camshaft before you... Uh... <laughs> so now the camshaft is kind of just, it's holding itself in place. Okay, so now what we got to do is put the bolt back in. And the bolt will hold the pin in place. Do not drop the bolt inside the engine. The hole's pretty hard to thing, you know. Oh, it's oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Almost forgot. This is a left. This is a left-hand thread, so it's lefty tidy, not righty tidy, but lefty tidy. Okay. <laughs> I almost forgot. I was like, I was like, why isn't it going in? Oh, it's it's, it's the left-hand thread. <laughs> so there we go. I'm just gonna do it by hand first. Okay. So now there's no danger of us dropping anything in the engine. Ah, oh, it's free. Oh, yeah. I like them apples. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Um, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to lined up to the mark here. There's still some tension though. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is torque the camshaft sprocket bolt to 17.5 foot pounds. Eight, 18 foot pounds. Say, call that 18 foot pounds. So if we're gonna get get our torque wrench here, and we gotta do it before the the, the locking compound sets. So I'm gonna have to set this to 18 foot pounds. Oh, there we go. Oh, it does it does do like it does 17.4. It's 17. Point, what 17.5? Yeah, we could do 17.5. Let's just do 18. Whatever. We'll round up. No big deal. Okay, and then we're gonna go get our this guy here. And then we're gonna get. I think that's a 12. It's the same as the. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's not a whole lot. We don't really need a big one. Oh yeah, we need. We do need this. Oh, we need two 12s. Okay, hold on. Yeah. How do we keep that from moving? That's a good question. I don't. I seriously don't think you want to hold that because it may slip. It may slip is what I want to say. Um, I don't know. Let's see if we can just do it by holding. If, if I can just hold it. We'll try that first. Um, let's use the smaller. Yeah, let's use the smaller, smaller wrench first. So 18 foot-pounds. Oh, okay. It's not the right. Okay, about 18 foot pounds. Here it goes. I'm gonna try to just kind of hold. Oh, let's make sure. Oh, I did it the wrong way again. <laughs> oh, it's moving. See? Yeah, the whole thing is moving. Hold on. You gotta move it back. Yeah, I think you gotta just hold it. Remember, I know I'm getting confused. It's like, oh, we gotta go left, not right. Okay, this does work in the other direction too. Cool. It's only two foot pounds though. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to hold it on the other side. So okay, so I think the only way to do this is you gotta hold the crankshaft. I hope it doesn't slip. The chain doesn't slip, though. Um, I don't think it will. There's a little bit of tension. There's enough tension to move it, so um, we're gonna have to use two wrenches to. Okay. Remember, it's opposites. Um, I think if you just get it off timing, that's fine. You can just move it back. Okay. So make sure both of the bolts are engaged. Oh my god, this is a lot of weight to hold up. Don't strip it. Ah, what I can do... I don't know, man. I can try to hold it with my leg is what I can do. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hold it with my foot. So I can hold this one a little more steady. Oh, I can feel it. 
I'm gonna try to hold it. And this helps if you have an assistant. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna strip the bolt because I can't hold the uh, freaking thing on there. This is really freaking annoying, dude. <laughs> Just make sure everything looks like it's on there right. Don't slip, chain, don't slip. I got eight foot pounds. Oh, crikey, dude. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> if there was a way to just jam like a, a screwdriver in there or something to keep it from spinning. <laughs> I know you guys can't see what's going on, but oh, I'm at 12. I made it to 12. Okay, let me see if I can hold it with my foot. Okay. It's just, I'm just trying to stabilize it now. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's 18 right there. I'm not gonna even double. I'm not gonna double check. <laughs> That's fine. Woo! All right. There we go. That's how I had to do it. And then just go ahead and just put it back to top dead center. That looks pretty good right there. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. There it is. Installed. Uh, there's a little bit of a. Uh, there's a little bit of a. Uh, purple Loctite oozing off of there. I'll go wipe it down. All right. Woo. All right, camshaft installed. Now we just need to, uh, I think we need to uh, put the tensioner back in.